Hello everyone and thanks a ton for joining me here on this brand new webisode of Political Peaks. I hope you've had a great weekend. Recently, I attended the second annual Wasatch Back Economic Summit, where the leaders of Summit and Wasatch County gathered to discuss the similarities and challenges that each town's economy faces, as well as how to build synergy between communities to take a more regional approach to tackle some of these economic challenges. I spoke with Park City Mayor Andy Bierman as well as Summit County Council Chair Roger Armstrong to discuss the challenges their economies face and the goals they wish to accomplish in order to solve these problems. Today, we hear from Mayor Bierman. Over the last 10 or 11 years, our economy has nearly doubled coming out of the recession, and it seems solidly charging forward. I expect at some point things will slow down a bit, but uh, we're a popular location for tourism. We've really grown as a second home community, which is less uh, weather dependent and less condition dependent, and, and I expect we'll continue to thrive, although we always need to be prepared for downturns. We have a very ambitious ambitious affordable housing plan. We're trying to build 800 units by 2026 and we're doing that through both city developed projects, partnering with our nonprofits and working with our developers in town requiring um, them to put housing in to, to help mitigate the impacts of their growth. So we've got a pretty clear path. We've got funding and land and a plan for about 500 of those units. Those last 300 are going to be hard and we're still trying to get creative and figure out how to do that. Traffic something we've been we've been working hard on. We continue to build out our transit system. The new electric buses are something we're excited about. I think if you look a few years ahead, five years from now, we're going to have a centralized transit center next to the Arts and Culture District in Bonanza Park, which is dead center in town. You're going to have large park and rides on both of our entry corridors, and you're going to have uh, dedicated bus lanes on the sides of the roads and electric buses ushering people in every 10 to 15 minutes. On the flip side, we're probably going to have to continue to implement paid parking in many areas areas in town, including at our resorts, to push people onto those lines. And we're hoping technology will give us some help. As autonomous cars become popular, that should take care of some of our parking needs and that should help with our circulation. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to focus on our buses and push active transportation by creating safe places people can walk and bike. Huge thanks to Mayor Bierman for taking the time to answer my questions. A lot of the things he talked about, like the city's affordable housing plan and transportation goals, can be found at the Park City Municipal website, www.parkcity.org, under the City Council tab. Be sure to keep it tuned here to Political Peaks on parkcity.tv to catch next week's interview with Summit County Council Chair Roger Armstrong. That's it for today's episode of Political Peaks. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, follow us on all of our social media at Park City TV, and be sure and check out the all-new parkcity.tv for more great community content. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again next Sunday.